Hey guys, what's happening? So, my last video, um, I created this exhaust cooler right here and a custom mount right here. So I wanted to do the same thing for my uh, BMT 984. I mean, it should be the same for like Serpent or Mugen or something like that, but I wanted to create the same sort of setup um, or something to, to work with this car here. So I have an extra one that I bought, I bought two of these. So I wanted to put it over here. I have some free space, not under here, but I can put some screws through there. It seems like it's open space. And get through me. I guess I could have wanted it. I could put it underneath there. Um, actually, I might get better cooling down there. But yeah, I'll just end up put it up here on the top. So I need to design a mount for it. So I think I might take some of the, the existing mount and modify it and change it or adapt it to make it work with this car. All right, so I gotta figure that out. Um, I'm going to Fusion 360 and I'm gonna figure it out and uh, be back here. All right, so here's uh, Fusion 360. And this is actually what I came up with here. So round services are usually uh, stronger than square services. So actually, that's one of the reasons why I rounded out all this stuff right here. But my thought was I would actually have the cooler right here, similar to the other design, but then I had to flip this up around and then the pipe would come up back through here. You know, the exhaust pipe, the exhaust uh, tube. So I'm not 100% finished with it yet, but then I'll have uh, two M3 pan heads coming through to mount it. And uh, these holes are for to provide extra cooling. Uh, because the heat sink is going to be going right here. So, all right, let's print this thing out. So when you use circular patterns, you don't have to use support. That's why this whole thing is circular. All right, so if I didn't show you in my last video, can't remember which order I did the videos in, but that actually goes like that. And when it's on there, the diameter is big enough where it won't pull out. It actually almost like locks it in place. It also keeps the thing from popping off. It almost acts like a lock. This might start making sense now. See? And that's gonna wrap like that. Like that. It's gonna wrap around. Cut it right there. Alright, that's it. So hopefully this longer pipe will help stabilize the actual fuel pressure from so much pulsing. But, uh, yeah, man, 3D printers are awesome. It's such a game changer. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have a 3D printer, you should think about getting one. I mean, if you're into RC hobbies or whatever, um, yeah, I mean, you can just design whatever, you know. All right, guys, cool.